The goal of the officers is to push the children physically and mentally to their limits. You said physically? This kid is gonna, he's gonna have a hard time here more than the rest of them. I'm not gonna lie. Why would you ban him after you said physically? Yo, you guys are canceled. Yo. What's good YouTube? Today we're gonna be looking at the prison cat meant for children. Is a prison for just children? I didn't even know that was a thing. If you're watching this from YouTube, make sure you guys join us on Twitch. We're live every day. Links in the description. Without further ado, let's get started. Handcuffs. Prison clothes. A rough tone. Now you in the jailhouse and you slipped. These aren't convicted prisoners, but children. But why are they in jail if they didn't commit a crime? Oh uh, no, if I'm a child, I, I'm telling my parents to sue. Their parents probably allow this. Their children didn't even commit a crime and y'all are already doing this? Just say y'all are trying to be beyond scare straight. Keep going! To find out, we head to Chester, South okay. Carolina. It's Friday, just before six o'clock in the morning. All right. These kids will spend their weekend in jail, even though they didn't do anything wrong. Among them, Cottrell. He's just eight years old. Being eight and going to jail gotta be traumatizing. At eight, there has to be at least a reason of why they're going to jail. And it better not be a petty reason. Watch them say some shit like, oh, he's been playing too much video games and his grades are like bad. Six o'clock sharp is the start of the weekend experience. Can we at least have a backstory of what they did to deserve this? If you guys were parents, are you guys getting your kids to experience this as like for fun? No, right? I wouldn't even do this if my kids were bad students. Bro's lineup is fucked. That's why they send them there. Oh, I understand now. Those responsible for it, their own parents. Okay, Cattrell's what did they do? His mother, Deandra, has voluntarily sent her son here. Or his attitudes, his um, outlook on life, his grades to start back going up. It's like I'm looking for a positive impact on behalf of us. You sent your child to prison because his attitude was bad? I thought he was out here being a criminal. I thought he was out here at least beating you up because of his attitude. I don't know. Parenting one on one, do some shit that you feel like would discipline the kid. What the hell? Go send him to prison for that? As an eight year old, too jail for getting bad grades the parents pay 75 dollars to treat their children as real for getting bad grades what's the worst punishment y'all got for getting bad grades i'm not gonna lie i was never a person with bad grades but the type of trouble i would get in i don't know getting grounded you cannot watch tv you can't play video games like give me your phone going to prison is not one of them criminal offenders we are shocked by the harsh treatment Courtney also finds it difficult to see her 14-year-old son Nola like this. But she's afraid that he'll come off the rails. She sees this weekend as a last resort. I'm looking at this kid, he looks like a bad kid. I could see why you would want to send him. I felt bad, but I would feel even worse if I was somewhere having to identify him or anything of that nature. So. I almost got beat up for an A minus. If you're getting in trouble for getting an A minus, that gotta suck. I identify him or anything of that nature, so. Because the way he is, that's worse where he's at. A weekend in prison as an extreme educational measure. Time to say goodbye to their parents. Nola and the rest aren't staying here any longer. With flashing blue lights and sirens, they head to the prison. Okay. The goal of the officers is to push the children physically and mentally to their limits. You said physically? This kid is gonna, he's gonna have a hard time here more than the rest of them. I'm not gonna lie. Physically and mentally to their limits. Why would you ban him after you said physically? Yo, you guys are canceled. Get off! Get off! Get off! For the next two days, these blue walls will be the home to Nola and the others. Deputy Boyd is taking part in this program for the first time. Okay. How does he find the harsh treatment of the kids? So you just gotta be mindful that they are children, but they gotta change their life now. So when they do get of age, they have a better path. 
You're doing it the wrong way though. I feel like the worst way to, to really discipline the kid, to install fear in them, your kid shouldn't be fearful of you. That's how you get horrible kids. Kids that want to feel rebellious later on in life, that want to do everything you restricted them to do. Some of the kids are actually in real trouble. Nola's mother thinks her son is hanging out with gang members. You're on the street over there. Okay. Tell the truth. Yo, Tell the truth. Talk. You run the street over there. You run one little gang. But is this kind of deterrence the right way? Children should learn what prison life feels like and everything that goes with it. Okay. Contact with the outside world and their parents is only possible through a thick glass panel. And in the middle of the conversation, the officer interrupts them unannounced. Courtney is visibly shocked, but that's exactly what the officers want to achieve. I see my Hold on! They literally paid for this experience and you're telling me you're experimenting on the parents too? I didn't sign up for this. I was trying to talk to my children. Oh, well, guess what, ma'am? You're not getting that call. Actually, no, I'm glad that the, the officers are also experimenting on the parents because you as a parent are awful for sending your children to prison for this, bro. Nah, they need help too. My mom, my dad, my aunt, my grandmother, and I can't touch them because there's somebody behind me screaming, yelling, yelling, and not allowing me to touch. As the time comes for the parents to go home, the kids can take Allow me to As the time comes for the parents to go home, the kids can take a breather. Can Catrell even understand what's happening here? I feel sad because I miss my mama. Chat, be honest, this kid looks like a regular kid. Y'all, you gonna do all of that to him? Why do they have better eats than me in, in high school? What the hell is this? Yo, what prison is this? Y'all are giving them exquisite meals? Nola looks exhausted. What do you think about all this? No, I'm gonna need an update on this guy's life. Chat, let's be honest, this didn't do shit for this man. Nah, I'm playing, I'll be doing good, but he gotta stop hanging out with gangs. How do the officers justify the extreme handling of the children? Life is harsh, so what would you prefer? You would prefer for us to be hard on them and here to, to uh, keep them from coming in here? I'll be out on the street and learn uh, street lessons, those harsh lessons, and end up in here. Which one is better? Extreme deterrence. Okay. This program has been around since 2012. An important part of this is meeting real inmates. But before that happens, Cottrell and the others have to spend their first night in a cell. First night in the cell? Do they even do that on Scared Straight? I don't think they have the kids staying overnight. I'm pretty sure it's just like a one day thing, right? Making an eight year old stay overnight at a prison cell, it, it's a bit extreme if you ask me. The next day, it also starts with a drill. But the tone changes a bit. Deputy Boyd and the other guards call it the building phase. They try to talk some sense to the kids. That's the wrong path. Keep going down. You will be in here. If you keep hanging with us, you will end up in here or a place like this. Gang member or just rebellious? A profile for the program doesn't exist. Okay. The decision to send their children to prison lies solely with their parents. Okay. Before Nola and the others meet real inmates, it's time to go to the nearby city park. Do y'all think if your parents sent you here, do y'all think y'all would come out as better people? Or do y'all think y'all would just resent your parents more because finding out the fact that it's your parents that sent you here. I feel like as I grow up, if I find out that this program was my parents doing and I was a good person, I'm gonna be mad at them. Mark. Social work time. On the way over, we drive through Chester. Dro I wonder what fat boy do. Did he steal some food? Wow. Bugs and gangs are a big problem here. And we had a 14 year old about three weeks ago get killed. Why? Gang related. Lieutenant Neal is a co founder of the program and a Chester native. But his connection is even deeper with the kids. And the reason why I 
my heart is in this program is because I once was at risk youth. I was actually a bad youth. Um, I did the gang banging. That's why we take so much pride in the program that we're doing, um, because we all once were there. The police voluntarily sacrifice their weekend once a month. They're not paid, but it's worth it. Y'all are doing all this to children for free? Deputy Graham even took part in a similar program as a teenager. Torturing kids as a hobby is actually insane. Really think about it, chat. Can you even call this child labor? I feel like at least with child labor, even though it's wrong, they're at least getting things from the children. And that's how we're able to relate to the kids. That's how we're able to relate to a whole lot of stuff on the street that we deal with, because we've been there, we've done that, we know what's going on. But they don't realize that the program could also harm some. Okay. They're convinced of the program's success. Out of around 750 children, seven had serious problems with the law afterwards. Okay. That doesn't necessarily mean that's the success rate of the program. It basically means that a lot of them weren't even, they're not at risk. Back in prison, we also notice a change. The mood is more relaxed. Then it's time for the children to be left with the real inmates. Some of them are even in for murder. The ugly truth. Let's see if they're gonna scare them. Man, you know why I'm here? I don't give a damn about you. You know why I the great do this? Get the hell up out of my cell for a few hours. Nola's big dream to become a professional football player. If you want to play football, you come to jail and play football. Go to college. Be somebody like You can be doctor, lawyer, teacher, whatever you want to be. Yeah, I can see why he's in jail. Even the subtitles is not even comprehending what he's saying. Say something, bro. But don't you advice, though. Leaving the street, all that you're doing is cutting your life short. That's it. That's all you're doing. Tell me, the street is not the life you want to live in. The meeting leaves its mark on the boys. It changed, it changed from a little boy that I was to a man. It changed the whole attitude. The last task for the kids is to write a letter to their parents. You write that letter to your parents. Pour your heart out. They always say improvement you and you. Heart out. Does this kid look intimidating in the slightest? I'm sorry. I see that kid down the street. He's not going to put a single fear in my heart. You know his ass does not belong here. This little kid too. They always say improvement you and you. Along with the rest of them. And who did it? Did. Encouragement is also part of the weekend. Never mind, he belongs there. He belongs there. Are you seeing the way he's erasing the freaking paper? Whole fist on an eraser. Nah, I can see why they put him there. I, I would place him there just because of that. And is also part of the weekend. Do you know what you're going to write here, Mom? Mm, I am sorry for being bad at school. I don't write anymore. Are you mad at your mom for sending you her here? Don't know. Don't you PR answer. You know damn well he is. He doesn't want to have another session there. As the children write their letters, Deputy Boyd and the others make some time. Hold on, who made the documentary? Y'all putting future in the background? You want me to get lit to this? For them. They share, above all, their personal experiences. I've been to college. I played college football. I mean, it, it, you can do it, man. And I come from the same neighborhood you come from. You grew up probably with the same people you grew up with. You gotta make decisions to take that different route. One thing I will say though, that this is a, definitely a much more mature prisoners instead of the beyond scary straight. Like at least they have the prisoners talking to them as opposed to scaring the shit out of them. Like I feel like none of the experience we've seen yet is truly traumatizing besides maybe getting arrested overnight. Nola's conclusion to the weekend we say? The kids are almost done. Okay, how was it in? Sunday morning, six o'clock. Courtney and the other parents come to pick up their children. You can sense the tension. Did Nola learn anything from this weekend? I thought I, I think I learned my lesson in this program. 
You can't read your own handwriting, bro? I'm sorry, I, I know he's pouring his heart out, but bro, why is it taking you that long to read your own handwriting? The parents are relieved, and so are the children. Is that just because the weekend is over? Yes, yes. A weekend in jail for an eight-year-old. Is that really necessary? No, no. Do you think that was the only option to, to um, well, not really. Now you want to come up with that realization? After the whole experience, maybe it was too excessive. Maybe we could have tried something else. I don't know, like some disciplinary ash. No, we had to send him to prison. What, you waiting until after the whole program to finally admit it was a bit excessive? Yo, bro, you're weird. It's like after the class, from looking at a different impact on things, I was like, yo, I could have then done different things differently. So it was basically a change. Deandra seems reflexive. Yo, bro, you're not me. Take that bonnet up. Seems relieved. The method is questionable. But at least, the policemen really seem to care about the children. And for them too, a long weekend comes to an end. But anyways, YouTube, that does conclude that video. Moral of the story, do not send your children to prison. Do you want to traumatize them or do you want to fix them? You choose. If you're watching this from YouTube, make sure you guys join us on Discord and catch us on Twitch. 5.30 p.m. PST, we're live every day. We'll for life. Love y'all.